It's Monday, March 16th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and more breaking news from American Airlines. A stunning announcement about an agreement reached between management and the union, the pilots union specifically, regarding leaves of absences and early retirements for pilots at American Airlines. Fundamentally career changing opportunities managed to be met nearly overnight in an agreement. mixes with that cold air produces three days of snow now here at the 3200. We got kids. No, that wasn't a snow. That was a tree. Um, that's why I want you guys to stay here and don't go off the porch. The Blanco Lirio yacht is taking a serious hit. Look at that bent mast. Now, as an airline pilot, everything is run by the union. That means everything is done by contract. And we negotiate these contracts. It takes years to negotiate pilot contracts. These contracts typically get this can kicked down the road well beyond its amendable date. Nearly all the major airlines in the United States were in the process of renewing their pilot labor contracts when this, when this current economic situation hit and just upset everything. And suddenly now, as long as everybody needs relief, suddenly they are able to nearly overnight, management and the unions are able to come to an agreement. Never ceases to amaze me how quick things could be negotiated when needs meet. Here at the Blanco Lirio Global Headquarters, we've got nearly a foot and a half of snow over the last couple of days. Great uh, low pressure area, March Miracle giving us the rain and snow that we need here in Northern California that we've been missing for the last uh, m over a month, month and a half or so. The power's been off for a day. The kids are home from school, of course. <laughs> Mom's going a little bit buggy, but I'm gonna squeeze in this report here real quick anyways. And we've had some damage here locally. The oak trees have failed. I'll show you the Blanco Lirio yacht has taken a serious hit. Anybody know where I can get a Catalina 22 mast? I think mine is now a taco. This comes from the pilots union at, union at American Airlines. From management, they've offered up three different types of leave that are absolutely career changing. One is a, and this is a bit of a harbinger for the rest of how the current economic situation is affecting the entire economy. Because the airlines are gonna to need to, recover quickly. Nobody knows how long this, this uh, period of, of uh, grounding the aircraft is gonna last. And when the airlines return to service, they're gonna need to have pilots and employees that are ready to go back to work right away. As a pilot, in order to do that, you gotta be current. You gotta be current and qualified in the type of aircraft that you fly. You have a type rating and you are only current and qualified to fly in one aircraft at a time. And to remain current in that aircraft, you got to have done at least three landings in the last 90 days and kept up with all your recurrency ground school training. So the union and management needed to work out a, a deal that keeps somewhat of the population current, qualified, and ready to go the moment that flying resumes back to some level of normalcy. But also some of these other leaves of absences indicate that this problem may last for a long time in the airline industry. Because remember, just a week or two ago, we were talking about the great pilot shortage and we're hiring 1,100 pilots a year at each of the major airlines to backfill for the thousands of retirements as pilots age out at the mandatory retirement age of age 65. Remember too, that was recently, well, few years ago now, that mandatory age was changed from age 60 to age 65, which put me at age 57 currently behind five years in my career. The fallout from this will affect my career as well once I get back on the line. 
currently since I'm uh, on uh, LTD uh, disability status right now, which I hope to be squared away with as soon as I get my FAA paperwork squared away, I don't believe I'm eligible to take advantage of any of these programs. In fact, it's a, a rather good time for me to be out on LTD while all this gets washed out. Lacking an agreement with management, the current economic situation would lead to furloughs. Furloughs would be costly for everybody. It puts the furloughed pilot out of a job. You got a furlough by seniority, starting with the junior guy first, and that, re that um, in turn causes a lot of training, cascading training events as major airlines like at American United and Delta has a whole fleet of aircraft and each pilot is only current qualified to fly at one aircraft at a time. Each time you furlough somebody off the bottom of the list, that causes a, a cascade of training events all the way down from the top of the list. When the problem is we're, we're grounding wide body aircraft, wide body aircraft are usually staffed by some of the most senior pilots and you need to devise also a plan that allows you to furlough from the top, so to speak, or offer an incentive to get the senior guys to retire off of senior equipment, especially equipment that is going to be grounded accelerated grounding permanently aircraft like the venerable 757 and 767 at American Airlines. By the way, the 757 is my favorite airliner type aircraft. More on that later when I get a chance. So, the first of three types of uh, absences that American is offering. One is a voluntary extended leave of absence. A voluntary extended leave of absence will be an unpaid leave However, the pilot will continue to accrue length of service and will continue to have access to employee benefits at active pilot rates. This is important because this means you get to keep your medical benefits, but you still got to pay for it. And will retain travel privileges similar to an active pilot. These leaves may be up to 12 months in duration. So option number one is to take a 12 month vacation without pay, maintain your benefits. Option number two, short-term leave of absence. And this is the one that addresses the ability for the airline to react quickly once the market changes and people start flying again. Pilots who take a voluntary short-term leave of absence will be paid 55 credited hours for the duration of the leave. Leaves will be one, three, or six months long. The pilot will continue to accrue sick and vacation, be eligible for all benefits at the same rates as active pilot, and retain travel benefits. Pay for the 55 hours, will be eligible for 401k contributions, so you can continue to contri con contribute, contribute <laughs> to your retirement plan. Pilots on this short-term leave of absence will be required to maintain currency, but will have no other flying obligation. So that means once every 90 days, you're going to need to be scheduled into the simulator to keep current. In the simulator, you can do your three touch and goes or your three landings to stay current. Remember too, when you go back and do these sims, it's more than just three landings. It's a little mini check right, but it's a great training opportunity. And here's the big one, voluntary permanent leave of absence. This is in effect an early retirement. And this is an absolute game changer. Pilots between the ages of 62 and 65 will be eligible, remember mandatory retirement ages age 65 in the airlines. Pilots between 62 and 65 will be eligible for this program. Pilots will be paid 50 hours per month per month until age 65. So you're getting more than half of your pay each month for not working from your current age to your retirement age of age 65. These pilots are eligible for all benefits at the same rates as active pilots and retain travel benefits. This is a very important incentive because most guys don't want to retire early because they don't want to have to pay for medical benefits outside of the company program. These uh, hours will be, uh, you can contribute these hours towards your 401k. And they're developing a health reimbursement account for your accrued sick time that you've saved up over the years. The voluntary permanent leave of absence pilot will remain in this leave until retirement. This leave is permanent and cannot be changed by either the pilot or the company. Now they gotta sort out how are they gonna 
how are they going to, uh, who's going to get to take advantage of these different programs? Will this be done on a seniority basis or will it be based on equipment? And I suspect it's going to be up to the company to determine who they're going to offer these various leave, leaves of absences to. They're going to have to be constantly evaluating the manning requirements at the airline before they start letting too many people out the door. So by offering a early retirement, that's going to allow the rest of us to get into those senior good paying seats sooner if that flying eventually returns or are we looking at a substantial shrinking of the entire industry for years to come. For that, we're going to have to stay tuned. See you here. The Blanco Lirio yacht is taking a serious hit. Look at that bent mast. Anybody know where to find a bent mast or a straight mast for a Catalina 22? Non-bent. That big old oak tree failed from way over there. Took her out. Heavy wet snow on these old oak trees. They just don't do that good at this elevation and the leaves were just starting to mud out so that added to the problem and here's where the problem is with these oak trees they're all rotten in the middle at the base so they fail real easy and same thing in wildfires fire gets in there and burns them inside out I wonder where, like, it, where, the, first, where the beginning of it was oh right there good question right there see that Right there at the rotten part. It's all that should go too. See how that mistletoe up there? That ain't good either. Nope. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm.